Hello, my name's Kim Rogers. Uh, I am the plaque operator here at Charlie Chandler's Guitar Experience and I'm going to show you around the workshop today. So come with, this is where it all happens. And so here we are, this is the workshop. We've got quite a selection of guitars in at the moment, as you can see. So this is where all the magic happens. This is uh, my main bench. So I have a, quite a large selection of tools here. We've got needle files, fret polishing rubbers, bone dust, files, chisels, pliers, fret pullers, more files, set squares, lots of screwdrivers. Some selection of wet and dry paper for polishing up frets. Tuna, soldering irons, coffee, always important. And yeah, this uh, we have a Telecaster here actually. This has just had a stainless steel refret. It's just come off the machine. It was plexed last night. Uh, this has actually been fingerboard planed on the machine uh, and had the fretboard re lacquered and yet yeah, stainless steel Jesscar 55090 fitted. So that's uh, just uh, currently very sharp on the end, so I'm going to turn those over, polish the frets up, I'm going to mask the board off, give it a good old polish, get them nice and shiny, and uh, just be a final tweak on the setup. So that's that's the main bench where everything happens, and there's some more guitars awaiting, and the Larius strap man to man. Here we have uh, the buffing wheel, everyone loves the buffing wheel, makes all the all the frets nice and shiny. This is the fretting bench. This uh, this is not being fretted. This has just come off the plaque. It's just sitting here at the moment. But this is where all the refrets happen. We have a selection of radius blocks that I use to actually insert the frets with. That's a selection of fretting tools. More tools, fret wire. More fret wire, this is uh, the Stumac stuff. That's lovely goodness. I do like the Stumac fret wire. And yeah, so we've got a bandsaw, pillar drill, workmate, which uh, doubles as a case stand <laughs> for when I'm opening up cases, and the Plek machine. There she is in all her glory. This uh, Yamaha acoustic's just about to be processed, actually. I'm just going to close the door and set that running. That's, uh, actually, that's currently been defretted. I've just given the board a light sand just to deburr it. And that's going to be fingerboard planed, because at the moment there's quite a large lump in the middle of the board and then a big kick up up the top end. So we'll tidy that up nicely. So that will be, that's the sensor finger there. That will go in and scan the board. And then the high frequency spindle cutter, that will do all the actual planing of the board itself. And then that's the fret cutter, which does the cutting of the frets. So let's close her up. I should start scanning. So that's going to scan along each individual string all the way down and give us a readout of the entire neck. And so yeah, and then yeah, we have lots of strings. Never have the right strings though, always got the wrong strings. <laughs> uh, wet and dry paper, there's uh, extra guitar parts, various sundries, lacquer, all the good stuff. More guitars awaiting repair, my hoodie in the way. And yeah, there we go. This Bench has become a bit of a dumping ground at the moment, but it's only me in here really 90% of the time, so <laughs> there we go. That's uh, That was once upon a time in the machine room, but has also become a slight storage because it's generally not enough space for the things I need to do in there. So the fretting bench generally becomes the routing bench when, when necessary. Radiator keeping us toasty. And then finish the engine room. That's the nuclear reactor and the fissible material <laughs> keeps me going. Exhaust port. 
Let's have some more. A little bit of Dunlop fret wire, which doesn't actually really get used that much. Foam, lots of foam for packing under pickups, etc. Look for some radius blocks, adhesive backed. This stuff's gold. It's amazing. And yeah, various jigs. Got lots of Dremel bits and bobs and goodies. Got wax and tub of wax under there. So yes, it's not the it's not the biggest workshop in the world, but we get the stuff done. It's uh, quite a selection of asks we get. Uh, it's not just free frets and fret dresses. Oh, here you go. Now you can see the. Uh, hey. So we'll actually go in and tidy that up. So I'll adjust all of that so it's tidying up the board. You can see the numbers there. That's. 144 that's actually 144 thousandths of a millimeter so it's uh, it's incredibly accurate and uh, we can tweak the radius as we can see the well, the radius isn't too bad very flat but it's uh, yeah so we'll get that all nice and tidy and yeah so that is the workshop uh, this is uh, Kim from Charlie Chandler's guitar experience saying welcome hope you enjoyed the small tour and goodbye <laughs>